Hey, namaste, beautiful goddess. <sighs> Hello, bliss babes. I'm using that. I'm trying it out. I like it because it works with, I like the word bliss. So let me know if you like it. Do you find it offensive being called a bliss babe? Today's video, I will be talking about the root chakra and if you're working with it and alter ideas, the um, Himalayan salt lamp. When I was doing massage more actively, um, we had a salt lamp and it's just said to purify the air, just change the structure of the air, cleanse it. I really like the feeling in rooms that had it going. So I love the, the glow of the light within the salt and it's like the heat is very slowly like letting it go out into the air. So a lot of healers have this in their space. It is um, really quite nice to have in a space when you're meditating, whether you're working on the chakras or mindfulness or mantra or whatever, or whether you're just doing yoga. I forgot to include a statue that I have on my altar. I'll show you that at the end as I have to film it separately. So yes, I want to recommend this incense that I love for the root chakra. This brand, oh my God, I'm smelling the, the I love this stuff. Brand is Prabhuji's, Prabhuji's Gift Sticks Incense, but this is called Radha. It's patchouli, rose, and cardamom. And so I just love them in general, but then I discovered their, um, the chakra scents, the one for the root chakra. And it's just an amazing scent. So the Muladhara, is the grounding and serenity because that is what the root one is about. So it features sandalwood, which is, I mean, always divine, coos grass, patchouli, and clove. So very sort of earthy, but sweet. I really love it. I actually do wish they did put more sticks into the incense. They give you 10 sticks, but it's like very, very high quality. You can just burn like a third of the stick. It really scents the room nicely. Try those if you're working with the root chakra. Let's go on to the next thing. This is all in my store and I'll put the link below. I have an Amazon store. It's just where I've gathered, gathered things that I really like and that I recommend. Ooh. There are two Buddha statues that I really loved. I love the detail of them. I love the design of these particular uh, Buddha figurines. Actually, somewhere packed away, I have a small Buddha statue that was given to me. And it was interesting because I literally wanted one at that time, but I, I wasn't able to access it. So I like this one. I like the detail on this one with the black and the gold. And so it's 13 inches tall. Seeing things on Amazon can be tricky. So just always really note the size of things, okay? I don't wanna <laughs> hear like, oh, it's smaller than I thought. You know, do check that. This other one also that I really love is because it's a little more subtle with more of a silver look to it. I love that and I love the filigree and the design. And it's only, it's like seven inches tall. So it's really fairly small, but that would be nice on an altar. So again, if this, um, you know, is your vibe, I, so I love, ha I love Buddha statues. I do consider myself, my mysticism, influenced in, in great part by Buddhism, but a lot of us also in the West, you just uh, are using uh, the image actually generically is almost like to represent serenity. If that's, you probably don't think about it, but a lot of times people will just have a Buddha statue and it's, it's not that they're worshiping the statue at all, but it's just to represent serenity and peacefulness. <laughs> And then within the like a day or two of me wanting one, a woman said to me, you know, I really like, I, I like this, but I was gonna get rid of it and I don't wanna throw it in, you know, I don't wanna throw it away. Would you like it? I was like, wow, okay, yes, I would. I believe there are many ways up the mountain, so I don't really care what your particular path is. So find an image that works for you. Focusing back very much on the root chakra, let's see what else we have. Another incense that I recommend overall for meditation that I love, and I talk about this in my chakra course, it's called Moss Garden, and it's a very subtle incense. So especially for those of you who get bothered by really strong scents, then try this one, Moss Garden. I love it. Oh my God, there's no smoke. It's just, it's funny too, because it's not strong, and yet it like does um, permeate your space. So I recommend and I have this bell you're seeing. Actually a friend gave it to me as a gift. It's nice if you want to end your session 
with the sound. You can just hit it. It has a very, very nice sound. I own that actual one. We could talk about some singing bowls. So let's look at a singing bowl that you might like if you are working with the root chakra. I love crystal singing bowls. I don't own a crystal singing bowl um, personally yet because partly I am a minimalist. I really try to keep it. I mean, you can see my space. Not that it doesn't get messy, but I, I'm trying to be a minimalist, okay? So I don't know that I wanna collect a lot of things, but I love the sound of crystal singing bowls. And so here are some that are recommended specifically for the root chakra. It is a very uh, beautiful sound. And so you can check out getting a bowl that is corresponds with that sound. But I'm gonna tell you the truth. If it appeals to you, it doesn't have to, you don't need like seven different singing bowls, okay, to work with your chakras. You can just get one whose sound that you like and, and have it in your space. I'll just show you a, um, because the color associated is red, whatever evokes earth for you. So I'm just gonna show you some, um, they could be altar cloths or you could use them as wall hangings. Like I have one here that's go it's golden white and I love it. And it was relatively inexpensive. I wanna say it was like under $20 or somewhere, it wasn't more than $25. So let's look at some fabrics, some altar cloths, and some wall hangings that you might want to put in your space if you want to emphasize the root chakra. I love these. And these, you know, they make me think of college dorm rooms. Um, I love this one here that you're seeing, this mandala. It's of elephants, which is interesting for the root chakra. It, that would correspond well with the root chakra. It's just beautiful, rich colors. So here's one, and there's actually, looks like the exact same one, um, black and white as well. So just a wall hanging or a smaller altar cloth. Here's another one, I really like this one. So this is a statue of Isis that I actually really like the craftsmanship on. In general, I, th I think the headdress, they actually messed up a little bit it is from an Italian firm that has beautiful Egyptian imagery, but I think it is painted in China. And so most of it is really quite beautiful. Like I said, I just feel like on the headdress, they weren't as neat. You can see that there. Some ideas if you wanna work with the root chakra. And as I always say, you don't need any of this to begin meditation, whether mindfulness or chakra meditation. All you need to do literally is a cushion and sit on the floor or sit in a chair. So you don't have to purchase anything to be able to do these meditation practices. You really don't. This is just if you wanna kinda of like, you know, make your space prettier. Check out the next video you might wanna watch is I have root chakra crystals. Watch that next and you know, you could order as well some crystals and I think there are links below that video for crystals appropriate for the root chakra. So check that out. And any questions, put them in the comments below.